Now, um, briefly, the principle of proximity or the rule of proximity, um, the proximity agreement is the practice of relying on the noun that is closest to the verb to determine whether the verb is singular or plural. If you didn't get it, that's fine, not important. The rule I applies to the subject, yes? I um, think, uh, sorry, sorry, Muntaba. But I think yeah. it is a new, a new topic to me, especially. I, I, yeah, it I is a new. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, see, uh, uh, okay. yes, yeah, it is a new yes. lesson, it is a new topic. Uh, and I just gonna yeah. like just you know um, you have the folder you, if you want to check it later after the class that's fine. But I want you, I want you just to focus on the examples. Uh, this is just an introduction. If you didn't get it, that's fine, no problem. Just a um, you know, no, introduction. No, I get it. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and you know, if you have a question, feel free to um, interrupt me and ask your question. Now the rule applies to the subjects containing the following words you know um, like you know we um where do we apply this rule where do we use this rule we, we can't use it with um uh, whatever sentence we want uh, there is um you know certain words like actually pairs of words like either or neither nor not only, but also. A or B. A together with B. A as well as B. You know, these are um, the, the pairs of words that when we notice them in a sentence, we use the this rule, the rule of proximity. Okay, how can we? Okay, how can we? You know, apply this rule. Let me show you. Now. Um, I should have, um, like, zoom in. Um, yeah. Now, uh, look at the sentence. He or his student was absent. Was absent. You know, the verb was absent. Now, look at the second, you know. He or... His students were absent. Now, you know, now look at the verb was and the verb were. What is the closest subject? Now we have he is a subject. His student is a subject. Who is closer to the verb? Who is closer to the verb? He or, or his student? Um, can you hear me, right? For the first one, uh, uh, but is in the first one, uh, there is a singular students, and in the second uh, sentence, it's plural students. No, no, I, I meant, you know, in the first example, he yeah. is a subject, yeah. the student is a subject. Who is a closer to the verb was? His students. student, or yeah, his student. So yeah. for this reason, we are going to use the verb that uh, that 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 you know agrees with the subject student. Mm -hmm. Now look at the second example. He or his students. We didn't say he or his students was. We used were because the closest. Um, um, subject is his students not he let me show you another example um hoping that will be more clear to you all right oh what is the right okay i'm, I'm gonna hmm, there is something that happened and unexpected right uh, anyway now look at this example don't look at the picture don't look at the you know at the suites here Focus on the example. 
wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, okay. Uh, okay, there's something happened when, when I'm, this is when you were doing your work late, so don't do it. You know, you will miss up your lesson if you're a teacher. Anyway, so either John or his brothers are bringing the dessert. Either John or his brothers are bringing the dessert. Now, why um, you know uh, we um, use the the verb are? Because his you know, brothers is closer from the verb are. Yeah, is closer. Now we didn't use John or his brothers is because you know his brothers is closer to the verb. You know, yes. if we said like his brothers, now oh, let's say. Like, um, let me think of an example. Let, let us just look at the. Not only Sarah. Not only Sarah. Okay, this might be not perfect one. Let's see. Um, Mm, the, the same idea. I'm thinking of, of an example, but it, 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 it has the same idea, you know. But what, what I'm trying to uh, d demonstrate here is you use, uh, you look uh, at, the, at, the, at the closest subject to the verb, and according to that, you choose which verb you use. Like, for example, if we said in, in the first uh, sentence, he you know, or his students, or they, they, let's say they, or their student was, they, or their student was absent. Now, we didn't use are because they is not the closest subject to the verb. They or their student, the singular, the singular, is closer to the verb. For this reason, we, um, you know, use the was because student is closer than they, right? Is it clear for you, everybody? Yes, I get it now. It is like yeah. a concord or much. It is. It is. The... It is the same concord agreement. It is concord. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I get right. it. Right now. Uh, I just, you know, there is between two brackets a word. Uh, this is a homophone. Homophone uh, is, you know, um, two words having the same pronunciation. Now, does that you see this um, dish uh, in front of you? You know, this um, dessert, sweet food, right? Sweet food. Um, now, this is dessert. With D E double S E R T, but you know the the, the the word between two brackets we pronounce it the same. It is a homophone, as I you know, we talked about homophones. It uh, pronounced uh, dessert, the same pronunciation, but dessert is a verb here. Now dessert in the dish in front of you is a noun. It is a sweet food. We'll call it dessert with double S and dessert with um, singular with one S. Now, dessert with one S is, you know, is a verb. I mean, to, to desert somebody, to leave somebody without help, to leave somebody without support. Now, for example, you, you say to your, to your friend, don't worry, I, I won't desert you. I won't desert you. Um, in other words, I won't abandon you. Abandon is a synonym to desert with one us. It's a homophone. D did you get it, everybody? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. It's written the same, uh, the same way like dessert here in this example. Uh, you know, there is just you know, if you look closely, yeah. dessert, yeah. sweet food, you know, um. has two s's. But desert, the verb to desert somebody with one S. Mm. 
Right, did you get it? Now just look at the spelling. There is two S's in the first word, sweet food. And there is one S with the verb to leave somebody without help, right? But Can you see it? Plate, yeah, but for the plate is with double, double S, dessert. With double Here. S, right, with double, double S. S. Oh, with double okay. S. Sweet food, um, dessert, with double S. I think right. it, um, the, the second one, dessert with one S, it is in the same time, noun and verb, right? Uh, when it is a noun, it is a noun and a verb. Yeah. yeah, but here is and the thing. Is here is the thing. Yeah. Uh, when you you when you want to use it as a noun, don't pronounce it dessert. It's a uh, desert. Desert. Pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. Desert. Desert. As a noun, you know, Sahara. as a noun, it pronounced, you know, right as we am saying, desert. But as a verb, dessert. Here. Are you confused yet? Are, are we on the same page, everybody? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Right. Uh, right. If I am now, wrong, yeah. please correct me. Yeah. To desert means uh, the verb. Desert means uh, to abandon. To abandon. To abandon. Someone. Yes. Right. Abandon. To abandon somebody. Yeah. Some and you say okay. to your friend, as I said in the example, I won't desert. I won't desert you. I won't abandon you, you know. Mm, and, okay. Yeah, and this is a sweet. Uh, do you like a sweet, everybody? Do you like dessert with double S? Do you like it? Yes, yes. All of you? Uh, no. Is it something <laughs> I you, am, you, you like? To... I like it, but I in the past. Yeah. In the past, I was. <laughs> yes, in the past. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's currently loves dessert, loves to like consume dessert on a daily, let's say, on occasionally maybe? Do you consume it like on a daily? Like, uh, are you like, um, like, um, a person who likes to consume, you know, dessert, sweet food? Or, you know, um, you like to consume it, like, occasionally, when you, you know, go out with your friends, something like that. And even, uh, even occasionally, I, I try to, um, to not eat it. Um, um, Monsada for dessert. Uh, do you mean uh, fruits or no uh, sweets, sweets, chocolate? Also, it's uh, for fruits. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, dessert, sweet. I mean, sweet food. Uh, okay, sweet because. Food. Uh, yeah. In Morocco, also for uh, fruits and uh, what we, in general, what we eat after our principal meals, we call it uh, dessert. We call it dessert mm. in French. Yeah, dessert in French. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it's a, yeah, it yeah, has right. a French origin. Maybe it has a, fr a French origin. Yeah. Because you know, dessert, in the restaurants, yeah. especially in the like, Fancy yes, restaurants, yeah. they like use uh, maybe a menu in, in French. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe. Right. Now, yeah, this is we we will continue. There is more um, some notes about this rule that really can can help you when you speak when you write. So, but, uh, let's let's uh, you know keep it uh, simple and brief. And we shall continue um, tomorrow. Right now, um, uh, if you don't have a question, uh, I'm going to move to the next uh, part. Of the